So just about set now. And starting on the mound for the Rays, Taj Bradley. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to we see you two, ball three, ball. maybe even the four times ball. in a start. Okay. So just shows you how Calder. deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to oh. first. One up, one down. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. An offense that knows how to mash, Chris. Lots of power throughout the lineup. They're leading the league in homers right now. Yeah, and I think when you're facing a team like this, pitchers coming in, they see the stats. They end up trying to nibble, trying to work on the edges, trying to expand the zone. And so I think the key, if these hitters can stay within themselves, obviously they have the ability to hit the ball a long way and score runs quickly. So we'll see how it goes in this one. The wind and the pitch. And that's in for a strike. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you can deliver a huge hit with one swing of the bat, it really changes your capability when you fall behind. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black, and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. And now, Gunnar Henderson. Lau in position. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. And now the Rays will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Tropicana Field, and getting the start Trevor Rogers and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch and on the road go. sometimes you know it's just the a matter, matter of baseball. luck it's not having a Young field man. difference between the bullpen yeah. mound to the mound out there on the playing oh. field don't know what it is but I know no this one, no he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one and he deals. Just oh. missed. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Two one. The wind of the pitch. Ball three. Three balls, one strike. Fought off foul. And a 3 2. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And now the lefty. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And now it's Brandon Lau. Bowed off to the right. Rogers, 26 years old. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Swings through that one. Diaz gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Pitch misses. And the count one and two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And the one two misses to even the count. And the pitch. 
On the ground, a short could be two. To second, that's one. On a Mount Castle, it's a double play. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Christopher Morrell next to hit for the Rays. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs, space is empty. Whoa. So two balls and no strikes. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one for strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Scoreless after one. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn. The pitch. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. All ones the count. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Next pitch downstairs. Now one and two. And another ball. Righty delivers. That just misses. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Adley Rutschman. A little bit low. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Two and one now. In the air to left, down the line. Carlson sizes this one up. Carlson pulls it down. The first base is number six, Ryan Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Mountcastle. Swing and a miss. All in one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Sizing this one up. Corrals it. That's out number two.
Here's Aloy Jimenez. The left middle. Aloy Jimenez. And that one pulled foul. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here at the top of the second. And that one fouled off. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. The 0-2. Got him looking. That ends the frame. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. The right fielder. Rogers back to work. Ball one, one there. Count one and oh. Outside ball low. Two. Ball two. Two ball, no break. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Strike two. Kelly left that change up off. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And that one in the air center field. Kowser makes the grab one down. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Dylan this is Dylan Carlson. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. No score here in the second. Just missed. 1 0. -oh. On the ground to third. Throws the first in time. Batting six. The center fielder. Jose. And now it's Jose Siri. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it. Uh, to improve your game, but ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Here's the 0-2. That one missed. Okay. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy... When you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Hey. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Ray's held in check here. We'll move to the third with no score. Now in Tampa Bay, out of the third inning, and now the rookie second baseman, Jackson Holiday. The pitch. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Outside low. One, one and ball, one. one. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Oh, Just good. off the inside edge. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Swings through that. Two ball, two strikes. That one missing three, inside. And a pitch. 
And he grounds one back up the middle, jumps, throws, and one away in the top of the third. So next a hit for Baltimore, Kobe Mayo, looking for his first big league hit right here. First pitch, and he just misses. Top of the third, no score. And that's downstairs and outside. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one for strike one. Two balls, one strike. That clips the zone. Two and two now. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. And here Aye. is Colton Kowser. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Two outs. That one well upstairs, and it's one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And we are still scoreless. As we go to the last of the third, now it's the shortstop, Jose Caballero. The lefty fires. This one popped up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The third baseman. Now up for Tampa Bay, Curtis Mead. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. One out, base is empty. Left field. That one hops against the fence. Around first and hustling for second. Now he launches a throw over his head. <laughs> One out, runner at second. And now the catcher for the Rays. This one high in the air to left center. Jimenez has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two down. Now batting, first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz now, one for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. And strike two. (laughs) 
That's to third. Mayo. Tosses across to first. And that is the inning. The Rays strand just the one. And we're still knotted at zero. Out of the fourth, Anthony Santander at the plate. Anthony Santander in his sixth season, 29 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2016. Inside just missed. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. There's a swing and a drive. Siri going back. Leafing. And he brought it back. And next for the Orioles, Gunnar Henderson. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug. And uh, these type of home run nope. totals. And a good eye there. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. There's a strike. takes the ball right hander kicks deals and a foul ball he stays alive here's a 2 2 and he hits a ground ball right side over to Diaz, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another Ryan. ground ball. Good execution. Oh, Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. Walked his first time. And that's outside. outside. That's Fourth inning underway, no score. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second, and it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way, and as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And it's second here with two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Adley Rutschman. Up the middle. Caballero. Slings to first. Oh. Rutschman retired. And that will end the inning. And the Orioles leave one. Still no score. Bottom four. And now here is Brandon Lau. The second baseman. And the pitch. And there's a fly ball deep right field. It bangs off the wall. Santander gets it back in quickly. They hold the runner at second, so another base hit could get us our first run in this one. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Morrell in the box now, now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. 
Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one finds the corner, and it's one and one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And here it comes. And strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good job to fight that one off. That misses. Ball three. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Here comes Lau. Fires it to the plate. But it's offline. And it's 1 nothing. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And yeah, the batter now, Josh Lowe, right through there for a strike. Snap throw to first. Morell gets back easily. Morell aboard here at first with nobody out. Hey. Big swing and a miss. This guy's got such no a good sinker. Right. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And now one and two. him looking that's a strikeout well just excellent location on that inside fastball really Number locked him up Number and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're oh, trying to protect God. away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called a ball but that's either ball. way that's a really nice pitch Carlson stands in here leaves that one off the inside Man at first, one away. Here goes the runner. Pitch misses inside. The throw, tag, and he's out. Well, the throw bounced in there perfectly. Really nice job on the back. Pick it, apply that tag, hold it on him. Just didn't get a good jump over there at first base. That's half the battle of stealing bases, maybe even more. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Mayo drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. Back after this on the show. We go to the top Leading of the fifth the at the play. Ryan the Mountcastle. Number six, Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. There's a strike. You know, these Orioles, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the and that one fouled off. 
That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Field two. Three. Got him swinging. And now one away. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Eloy Jimenez now. He's 0 for 1. That's outside, and it's one to know. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. Let's see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Righty to the plate. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. Out number two. The batter number seven, second base. So two down now, and Holiday. here is Jackson Holiday, 0 for 1 so far. Yeah. Splits the plate, and it's 0 and 1. They say you win. Looking sharp, just a strike away from oh, five shutout down. innings. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. One and that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the Orioles set down in order. Orioles held in check there. They're down one nothing. And we're back, stepping in, Jose Siri. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And that clips the inside corner. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know throw off line. He's safe, and a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. You got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Now snap throw to first. Siri back on a dive. Hoog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that... Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. Runner on the goal. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Around third. He scores, and they lead by two. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Curtis Meade digs in now. Just oh, missed. Ball. ball one, no strike. Caballero at second with nobody out. And that one popped to short, moving under it. Makes the catch. One down. 
The catcher, number 28, Alex Jackson. And now the catcher for the Rays fly to left his first time. fouled off one run across in the frame so far last half of inning number five good eye right there the one one good eye in that spot And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Man at second. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three two on the way. That's the third. And that should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. Throws to second. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. So the Rays batting order turns over. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. One for two. That hey. one's in there. Strike one. Oh and one. a base hit into third now so runners at the corners and one out nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now and he's ready to make a move to the bullpen that'll be it for Trevor Rogers and he had a tough time keeping them in the ball game today we'll get a new arm when we come back coming out for the Orioles number 49. number 49 he's been so good against lefties Runners on the corners with one gone. Lau at the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a foul ball. Runners are at the corners, one away. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, his curveball isn't really considered his best pitch, at least in terms of command. It's kind of more of a show me to have the hitter thinking about something else. I wonder if he'll keep going back to it after missing so badly, though. Morel at the plate now as he chases after that one. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it, still try to get that ground ball double play. Would not chase that time. Hey. 
And ball. another ball. Two, two, down. On the ground a second, might be two. Throws to Henderson. Out. On a Mount Castle. Out. It's a double play. So two runs in the inning, three hits, one error, but two are left stranded. Five innings complete. Raise three, and the Orioles nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Kobe Mayo. Bradley back to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And here is Colton Kowser. And that one is inside ball one. Check swing and a 1 0. Appeal to third. That's a swing, according to umpire Woody Keller. Left hand hitter waits. That Ball misses. Two. And it's 2 and 1. He got two balls, one strike. One down, base is empty. Struck him out looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the now same that, page right now. The right fielder. Next to hit, Anthony, Anthony Santander. Santander. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boog, light tower power? That's right. That ah. one's in there, 0 and 1. The Orioles trailing by three, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Raise three, and the Orioles nothing. Back here at Tropicana and Field, off, bottom of, of the sixth inning, and no now way. Josh Lowe. Lowe. The right-hander back to work. Hey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, these Rays putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Right-handed reliever. And they'll do it again. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels Whoa. like there's potential for more coming. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't yeah, chase that count. time. Bounce to third. Whips it across. One up, one down. The left fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. Dylan Carlson, next to hit for the Rays. Oh 
Missed with a changeup. Ball one. Counts one and oh. That one ripped left field. Jimenez ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, the center fielder. Two outs, bases empty. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Siri. And yeah, there's a ball. It started a little too early. Strike one. one, one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Three. Swings and misses, and it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they lead it three nothing. Set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. But why the kick the pitch? There's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And there's a foul ball. 0 oh, 2 now. The oh, shortstop oh. takes the ball. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts the seventh with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. O'Hearn checks his swing, appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Foul ball there. At the belt and fires. Nope, that's inside. And a foul ball. Man at second. Hit in the air, left field. Carlson in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. Adley. Rutschman. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Kicks and fires. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Wouldn't oh chase that time. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. <laughs> One two now. That Back one in. just Ball misses. Pitch. It's a good take. Ball 
Bounce to the right side. Throws to first in time. Rutschman retired. The first baseman, number six. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Poche getting cranked up as well. Runner at third. Two away. Next offering upstairs. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Two outs. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Caballero fires over to first. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Orioles. They trail it here, 3 0. now in Tampa Bay, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Jose Caballero. The wind of the pitch. And it skips in the dirt. And another ball. 2-0 to count. Here it comes that one down the line and that should be extra bases around first heading for two the throw into second and he's got his second double of the game pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one he pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground it feels great when you hit a missile like that So, a man aboard, Curtis Mead, next to hit for the Rays. That's oh. off the mark, and that's ball one. And the pitch. Hey. And that drops in for a strike. Caballero leads off second with nobody out. Missed with a changeup, two and two. To the right side, Holiday gathers and throws to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting, catcher, Allen. And here's the catcher. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. First pitch just misses. This one in the air center field. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they're up by four. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And a batter now, Yandy Diaz. Yandy. Yeah. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that is that. But they push across one run. One hit, no errors, and no one left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rays four and the Orioles nothing. And we're back. Now the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. The Orioles in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Ground ball left side. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there.
Man at first, Jackson Holiday, the next to hit for the Orioles. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and that's ball one. The Rays leading by four, and we're in the top of the eighth. That that's one misses. Two and oh. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Garrett Clevenger, the left hander, up and throwing. Kelly warming up as well. And he deals. Just missed. Three and oh. And there's the automatic. The pitch. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch, but coming off the fastball the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point, and he left it up. But the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. Fought off foul. And he'll one. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. He's got it. And there's two away. Now batting the center fielder, Colton. Here's Cowser. the center fielder, Colton Kowser. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And the oh, first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't That's chase that two. time. Two and oh. The pitch. There's a strike at the knees. And it's two and one. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Squirts away a little bit. He's in there. And now a man into scoring position. Man on second, two down. Slow roll into first, nope. and foul ball. foul ball. Kicks and deals. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. This to third. Over to Diaz, and that is that. And the Orioles leave one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Keegan Aiken. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Digging in, Brandon Lau. The second baseman, Brandon Lau. And a pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Kowser snags it on the run. Almost a loud start to the inning on that the first back. pitch. Man, the he's going to want that hit. one back, no doubt. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Christopher Morell, one for three. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Sir Anthony Dominguez up and throwing. Oh, 
One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Just the off ball. the inside corner. Now one and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And that one First got a piece base. of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Man at first with one gone, and now Josh Lowe, 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Morell leads off first with one away. <laughs> and the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. And here it comes. Run around the move. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Garrett Clevenger. 50th time he's come into a game this year. He's been relied on out of the pen quite a bit. So digging in, Anthony Santander. Right 0 for 3 with two Anthony strikeouts and a flyout. Santander. As the lefty gets to work. That oh. misses the zone. Ball one. Counts 1 and 0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. One away. He's two outs away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And it gets by him. Now he'll turn for second. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So one gone with a runner at third. Ryan O'Hearn, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's 4-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner at third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. And the Rays, they go to the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And ball one. Oh. 
Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Two outs. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Ryan Mountcastle, the Ryan next to hit for the Orioles. That catches the outside corner. That's strike one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. The Orioles down to their final strike. Ball, that and that just misses. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. pitch on the ground to third and that'll do it I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team every ball club wants to be dominant at home winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one four won the final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon